Hello everybody, hopefully you're having a wonderful, fantabulous, and mystical day over on the mystical side of life. Um, for today's episode, uh, I decided that uh, I would talk a little bit about composition, because uh, from the last episode that we had currently recorded with Amelia, we talked about, um, you know, the character and the weapon and things like that, um, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about splash art, because I feel like it's pretty important, because I'm going to be making a splash for this uh D, D character so i did write out a couple notes here so i have kind of an aim of what i'm going for but before i get started my name is emmanuel aguilar aka mystic fox 4 and um we're gonna get started here so in the background you're going to be seeing me do um a couple thumbnails um next week i will start rendering out one of the thumbnails and probably finish painting it but as for now we're just going to do this so what are thumbnails right um Actually, before we go into that, uh, what are what what is splash art? So splash art is just um, a character, any character um, in their natural habitat, in like their best light, right? So like let's say, League of Legends is a great example of this. So the splash cards for League of Legends are let's say like a Kali, which is this ninja character. She's turning back, kind of looking at the camera, and she has her swords, and she just finished beating some guys up. She's a ninja. That's like her thing, right? So, um, that's the idea of Splash, is to put the character kind of in their best um, uh, form or, or their best, uh, in, in, in their most comfortable position. And then uh, that's their, uh, uh, like, the Splash. Okay, so the second part to this is what is um, thumbnails? Like, what are thumbnails? So, Thumbnails are really cool. I enjoy doing thumbnails because they help save a ton of time when you're trying to make a piece. Uh, thumbnails are very small images that you use uh, in order to get an idea across. Uh, and then you pick from those and you can render it out further. So think of them like little drawings that you do. Um, kind of like I'm doing here. You can do them on pencil and paper. You can do a lot of them. You can do a couple of them. I chose to do three specifically because I don't want to give myself too many options when I'm doing these um, because I have a general idea of the aesthetic of the character um, and how I want to portray him. Um, now, I don't think this whole description thing and me talking is going to take too long because I just want the rest of the video to kind of just play out and then have music in the background so you guys can enjoy it. So I'm going to talk about my next two topics, and then I'm going to let you guys go ahead and enjoy that. So um, composition is really cool. It's one of the more fun things to do in uh, doing thumbnails. Because when you're doing composition and you're trying to figure out how you want to place your character, a lot of it is dictated by what the character is like and, and what you think that they would experience or how they would portray themselves. So when you're thinking about composition, you know, that could be, I want to be looking at them from above or I want to be looking at them from the side or, you know, from like a rat's view or, or, or like something on the ground, you know, um, uh, it, it changes the way you think about the character in terms of feeling and in terms of like a lot of other things, um, like, uh, well, one of them is obviously feeling. The other one could be like how how they um, come off, like like the the uh, ambience to them. Um, you know, uh, it, it's 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 how you think of this character, right? It's the difference between having a character feel like a good guy or a bad guy. I mean, granted, the silhouette of the character is probably going to be sharper if he's a bad guy, um, but there's sure enough some examples around characters that are also bad um i just can't think any of them off the top of my head but that's a general pre premise of it and that's the cool part about it now what uh, uh what, what what thumbnail did i choose right so i think in the video um I, I did three thumbnails. I did the one where he's sitting, kind of looking at the camera, uh, holding his his arm close to his chin. Um, and the reason I picked that one, and, and he's kind of leaning, uh, and then you have like the, his tail coming forward towards the camera, kind of flipping a coin, like a gold coin. Um, and then he's sitting on a chair of, uh, of ladles, right? So the ladles are representative of his... Uh, 
uh, kind of family and, and the whole thing that we had spoken about last episode about the ladles um, and, and their importance to royalty. So um, if you haven't seen that episode, go ahead and check it out. Um, I'll link it right there in a, in a card on the top of the screen or something. Um, but that's the importance of it, right? So so I wanted to incorporate that and show that, right? So I, I made a chair full of like gold spoons and then um, he has his weapon there because he's an adventurer. He's not necessarily like, he doesn't see himself as too much royalty. Um, or maybe he does. I don't know. It's for you guys to decide, right? Um, and so I did that and then I, I kind of did a different type of color in the background once I go into painting, but for this episode, we're just drawing them, right? We're just getting them down on paper so that you can get a general idea of them or you can understand what they're like. But that's the general premise of them, right? That's the general premise of this character, and uh, that's the reason why I chose this composition in particular. Now, I did do the other two drawings of him just to kind of explore different avenues of him like the one where he's smashing his weapon down but he's not he's a brute but he's not that's not his forefront you know his 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 personality isn't around being a brute his personality is around being this rich kind of snobby merman right and he has that kind of aesthetic to him where he's he's almost like elf people you know like like high elves where they're like oh we're too good for everyone that kind of vibe um, but, you know, people don't know of Merman very much, so he's just kind of like, yeah, um, you obviously don't know my culture, you uncultured swine kind of thing. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna let the rest of the video play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little talk. If you did, comment down below, let me know what your thoughts are on the character. How would you portray him? You know, do you enjoy doing the, uh, the whole thumbnails or don't you? You know, maybe you just like to go straight into the drawing. Comment down below. Let me know. Uh, let, let me know how you guys would do this. All right, guys. I'm going to let the video play. As always, don't forget to stay mystical. Boop. Thank you. 